So I decided to give my electronic stud finder the treatment it deserves. Do you use electronic stud finders like this? I find these to be very spotty at best. It often shows a stud where there is none, and it, sometimes you know there's a stud there, but it doesn't show up. The other problem you have is this. I've got a copper pipe. It actually beeps and indicates there's a stud. Now, do you know what happens if you drill through a copper pipe that has water in it? I think these are garbage and I knew there had to be a better way. I never liked to use these. I usually end up poking a nail in the wall until I hit a stud. These are garbage. So I decided to give my electronic stud finder the treatment it deserves. Wait a minute. Hold on. <laughs> That's better. Hold on. Now we're talking. That's what I'm talking about. So I was at Home Depot and I found a stud finder that used a magnet and I figured I could make one of those. So I went home and that's exactly what I did. From the stash of wood I keep in my garage, I found this scrapped kitchen table leg. I finally found a reason to use it after 10 years. I'm cutting it down to a width and a height that I think is going to be appropriate for the stud finder. I really don't have any design at this point. All I know is that it's going to be a piece of wood with a bunch of magnets in it, and it should be somewhat ergonomic. The final dimensions end up being one and a half inches tall by one and five sixteenths wide by six and one eighth long. I'm using this round router bit to shape a groove into the top side of the soon to be stud finder. I haven't cut it down to length yet, so this way I can clamp it down while I shape the wood. Both ends are now sanded to what appears to be symmetrical by my eye. I want to bring both ends to a point. You can complete this step on a bandsaw or, if you're very careful, a table saw. On the bottom, where I'll soon be drilling the holes for the nine magnets, I need to run a line down the center. The overall length of the magnets are four and a half inches. Here's how they're going to line up on the bottom. The magnets I'm using are rare earth magnets. They're one half inch in diameter, one quarter inch thick. I'm center punching holes one half inch apart and drilling small pilot holes so that when I use my half inch drill bit, they should be right on center. In hindsight, however, I should have added 1 32nd to 1 16th inch between the holes. The last magnet that I dropped in was too tight and I had to grind it down in order to get it to fit. Now I wasn't sure about the best glue to use, so I decided on this multi-purpose adhesive, which said it was good for wood and metal. And here's the part of my video where I get upstaged by my dog, Snickers. Nah, I'm not gonna show you that part. I'm using this sticky contact paper on the bottom. It's perfect because it's thin enough to not impede the magnetic force, yet thick enough to protect the wall from being scratched by the magnets.
So here I am at a wall in my basement and I'm gonna use the new stud finder to locate the studs. Ah, pretty easy. So we've got one here, we've got one here. Should be another one about 16 inches over and we've got one there. So my new magnetic stud finder will definitely replace my old electronic one. Try it for yourself, it's a really easy project. It only took me a couple of hours. Thanks for watching Alley Picked. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Alley Picked. Until next time, I'll meet you in the alley. All right, say thanks for watching Alley Picked. Please subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to Alley Picked. Go on. What kind of helper are you?